And the kiddos and I are going to venture out today. Is it too big for you? Yeah. <laughs> A little big for you too? <laughs> We hope you all are staying healthy out there. We have a bunch of toys piled up on this table behind me, so many, and they are there for a very special reason. The kiddos and I are going to venture out today. Hmm. Now in the last probably six weeks or so, I have driven my car one time. That's it because of the coronavirus pandemic. I went to the grocery store once, and the kids have not been in the car with me at all in the past six weeks. Is that weird guys that you haven't been in the car in six weeks? Yeah, because usually like we drive to school and then when mom picks us up, we go somewhere to make a um, errand and then we go back home. It's just so weird because like our, our daily schedule has changed so much. Right, because we've been cooped up inside our house just like most of you have in your houses. However, we are fortunate to have a basement full of toys. So that kind of helps us from going stir crazy. We can go down to the basement and pull out a new toy to play with. And we know that not all kiddos have that same situation. So our goal for today is to hopefully brighten some kiddos days by bagging up some of these toys and safely dropping them off on people's front porches or driveways to bring some smiles to some kids' faces. So for this particular toy delivery, we decided to pick some families from our church. We thought, we just brighten our kids' days with a special extra surprise. But then I also thought it'd be fun to pack a few bags, just a random toys for nobody in particular. So in case we're out and about and we see maybe just a family outside playing in their driveway or going for a walk, perhaps you could bless them with a special bag of toys too. I'm packing a bag for Mason, a little boy in our church group. And what'd you put in first? Um, a dinosaur, dinosaur mini, garden. mini garden. Now, we don't have any bags. We just have to go through our bags and somebody's got old Christmas bags and birthday bags, but we're making whatever we have work. What about this game, Colin? Mastermind for kids? Do you think Mason would like this? Yeah, because he yeah. has tons of games. All right, let's put that in there. Oh. And we got these cool putty scents from Mindware. What scent is that? Um, ah, marshmallow, mint, cocoa. cocoa. Do you think Mason would like that? All right, yeah. we'll put that in Mason's too. Who are you working on? Ellie and Brielle. They're gonna look. Two little girls from our church. Okay, yes. yes, definitely some of our XOXO stuff. Yes. How about one of these? Yes. And maybe even one of our new cupcakes. Yes, they're gonna love that. And just so you know, parents, our new XOXO cupcake surprise is currently available at Target. Ooh, if you need them, might want a cupcake too, Mom. Good idea, put that in there back too. And what do you have, Colin? What is this? Ooh, water globes. That would be a fun project for somebody. I tried to pick out some things that were crafty and that might take kids, you know, a couple of hours to play with and keep them busy for a little bit longer than a few minutes. What do you see over here, Colin? I see Maya's toy. Is that Maya's? I don't think this is Maya's. Well, mine, Colin. Ooh, Turtle Lagoon. This could be a fun project. Okay, so I'm probably gonna add two of these so Ellie and Brielle can each open one. Good idea. Whose are you working on, Maya? Daddy. And what are you putting on her? Cloudy. Oh, cloudies. Ooh. Those are fun too. Ooh. I bet Patty would like her XOXO light up unicorns. Let's put that in there for her. Addie's working on the bells. I think they would like some Hatchimals pixies. These are from when we went to a special event in Nashville. We had a whole fun Hatchimals weekend, so I think these will be a big hit too. when we are, are in the car and trying to find whose bag is whose. Good thinking, Addie. And whose do you have, Maya? Um, Izzy and Eden's. Okay, all right. Izzy and Eden's bag. I moved my car out to the driveway so it would be easier to load and just driving the car from the garage to the driveway felt so bizarre. It's been ages since I've driven anywhere. Almost out of gas, so I had to run to a gas station first. But I have to say that was the first time you know we've driven, and there were so many beautiful signs on the way that people made and put out. I saw a sign that had a big heart, and it said, "We love first responders." 
and there was another one that said like life is difficult right now but you are loved and just so many sweet messages on the way for everybody that's driving by and I thought that was so sweet I wasn't expecting that. Now before I go out there are actually a lot of people around the gas station so I guess I'm supposed to wear a mask. I've never worn one of these before. Okay, I'm gonna feel pretty silly but I'm gonna do whatever I can to keep safe and healthy. I'm not gonna touch anything either. I got my wet one. Not even touching our own car, huh? I know. <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay. Hopefully, I did that okay. Gonna try one on, Maya? <laughs> Is it too big for you? Yeah. <laughs> A little big for you, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to head off to our first house. Where should we go first, guys? Hmm. Hattie. Hattie's. Hattie's. I think Hattie's the furthest out. So let's start. Ellie Real might be the place to start. I probably should have mapped out our route before we left because I have the worst sense of direction. So I'm probably going to go in the least efficient way, but um, I'm going to do my best. <laughs> When we were driving, we found some of our snacks from our last Florida road trip in our console still, so we have some snacks to eat. And I got a push pop. First house girlies, you gonna go deliver it? Yes, I think we should open the trunk. All right, hop on in, hop on in. I'm gonna get on. Oh, Colin, you get to do the next one, buddy. All right, girlies. Well, just, I kind of feel like we're booing people. Like we're I know. dropping off secret surprises. We don't have to be so secretive this time. Yeah. <laughs> so we didn't put our name or card or anything on it, but I think people are going to figure out it's us because there are tic-tac-toy toys and everybody is gifts. So <laughs> I think it'll be pretty clear it's from us. We were driving to the next house when we passed by a car wash, and I know that sounds like a silly thing to do right now, but we realized a while that Maya has never been through a car wash. Well, she has. Can she you believe was that? Really scared. What was that? She has. She's. She was just really scared. You know, but you don't remember it, do you? No. No. Well, we're gonna go through a car wash, which sounds super lame, but when you're stuck inside all day, going through a car wash could be kind of exciting. So we might as well go through a car wash. Here we go. Well, we made it out of the car wash. What did everybody think? Awesome! Awesome! We will do that again! You, what, Colin? Again. Again? <laughs> <laughs> you definitely know you aren't getting out of the house very often when going to the car wash is super exciting. And I have to say, even for me, that was super exciting. <laughs> <laughs> but now we gotta get back to toy delivering. At least we're delivering toys in a clean car now. Oh. Where are your shoes? Did you not bring shoes? Mm. Oh, Colin. Colin, did you, let you guys go deliver? Go find the front porch? Yeah, Come on up. We actually got to see them from a distance. That was super fun. And did you see their new puppy, Maya? Yes. They have a cute little puppy. Next stop is Mason's house. We've gotten two houses done, three more to go. You wanna go put it down 10 feet away or six feet away? <laughs> How fun! Now I'll tell you we've already wiped them down with Lysol wipes, but you might wanna do a second round just in case. Yes, tic-tac-toy germs. Yes, tic-tac-toy germs, no more. <laughs> Virtual hugs to your friends. Air hugs, I won't get too close. Air hugs. 
<laughs> We're delivering to the last house. We think we see them up on the balcony over there. I see Hattie. You see Hattie? Okay. Yeah, should, should I go knock? Should we go, go knock her in? Okay. All right, she's gonna go knock really hard. Okay. Look in the back. Look in the back. Oh, look what's inside toys. there. Look at the toys, your present. <laughs> well, we delivered the toys to everybody that we had intended to deliver them to. I still have a pile of toys over here that I haven't found anybody to give them to randomly. I felt a little weird going up to people I didn't know and I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable, not knowing who we were or not knowing, you know, if these toys were safe or clean. So I'm going to have to figure out a better safer way to hand these toys out so I don't make people feel uncomfortable. And we got to see a few of our friends along the way too. We had a couple families that were able to pop out and leave hello from a safe distance. Yeah. So that was kind of cool to actually see somebody besides being on Zoom or on FaceTime or over the computer. Yeah. Since we're already out and about, we figured we could have a safe dinner while we're out. So we've ordered from Sonic. They have contactless ordering, contactless delivery. And we're sitting in the back of our car and enjoying a meal. Just excited to be outside of our house and outside of our home and outside of our neighborhood. What's your favorite Sonic meal, Maya? Popcorn cake on the soup. I'm gonna add what do you always get? BLT toaster. Mm-hmm. Like the best things in the world. And Colin. It's my corn dog guy. Yay! Your corn dog? Yay! Yummy. Ah! I like corn dogs too. Hot, hot. Is it hot? <laughs> put it in my bowl. You just put it in my car. Did you put a corn dog in there? In here. <laughs> Don't forget about that. I'm afraid he's gonna I not got, eat it tonight. Forget it's I there got, and we'll I discover an old corn dog from now. I'll open it. You got a toy? How about that? Well, I have no idea what this is. She-Ra and the Princess of Power. No, I'll open it. Look out on the back. Was that your prize? Yeah, this one. What are they? And they go on your straw. They go on your straw, huh? Straw. And you got, ooh, and you got a unicorn? They're mm -hmm. light? They light up? No. no. Here's my straw, buddy. <laughs> so convenient in this well, yeah, special yeah. time when huge germs are around yeah. the world with the straw. Ah! They have germs oh, on it with a straw. Ah! We just oh, eat the germs. <laughs> Colin, <laughs> I think you still have corn dog in here. Colin, this is, this is my place. You have to eat your corn dog. <laughs> corn dog. The girls are motivated to eat their food because they know it's Sonic. They have the best Sonic glass, and like slushies and amazing like shakes. But there's something new that looks really good that I want to try. There it is, Reese's Overload. I'm definitely gonna try this Reese's Overload. That sounds so good. Colin, where's your corn dog now? Back there. Back there in the car? <laughs> Colin! Yeah. Eat your corn dog! We just got this new car right, yeah. before corn, right before the whole quarantine thing. So we barely used it, but it had room on a new car. There's gonna be no eating in it because I wouldn't keep it clean. And of course, now we're eating it and I have a corn dog lost somewhere in the third row. I know where it is. You know where it is? I'll go get it. You're gonna go get it, Addy? Here. Okay, Colin. Corn dog. Colin! <laughs> Now we lost Colin. Yeah. Corn dog. Yeah. Can you smell it? Yeah. Corn dog. Corn dog. We will get him to eat his corn dog before we leave because I know he's gonna want a Sonic Blast. We just ran into a fan at Sonic. What's your name? Faith. Faith. And since he had all these toys, he wanted to give away. You want to give her some toys? I haven't seen. I don't know. <laughs> Give her a few of them. We've already sanitized them, so they've been wiped down. Give her a bunch of stuff. All right, there you go, Faith. You get a bunch of goodies. <laughs> that was so cool. We wanted to give those toys away to kids. We couldn't figure out how to do it, and we had the perfect opportunity present itself. And that little girl got a bunch of toys. Yes, that turned out really cool. Yeah, she was really happy. But meanwhile, while we were busy talking to Faith. I noticed something on the floor over here. Colin, <laughs> how did this get on the floor? How did that happen? <laughs> He's like, me. Colin, back in the car. I 
we're back in the car because there started to be some more cars pulling up and we couldn't keep our safe space, we felt like. So we're back in the car, feeling a little bit safer. And it's time to order shakes. Sonic I know. Laugh. What kind are you gonna get, Maya? Colin says he wants M and M's. I, me and Addy want cookie dough. Cookie dough. Mmm. Sounds Let's good. Let's push the big red order button. Laughs are here. Cookie dough for Yay. Addy. Cookie dough for Maya. And Colin. And a Reese's for Daddy and me. And even though he probably shouldn't be getting one, Colin got one too. Well, we had a lot of time getting out and getting out for the first time for the girls in ages, and it was so nice to bring smiles to other people's faces spread some joy, but now it's time to head back home and continue to hunker down because we gotta stay healthy, we wanna keep others healthy too. We hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for watching Tic Tac Toy and Tic Tac Toy Family. Bye bye!